Nigerian female ambassadors to several countries have gathered here at the Rutsunda Hall of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to commemorate International Women's Day, a testament to the resilient spirit of the Nigerian woman. Poor representation of women, especially in politics, has been an issue decried by many for a group that makes up 51% of Nigeria's voting population. At the just concluded presidential and parliamentary elections, of the 15,336 candidates, only 1,524 are women. Women make up a paltry 4.1% of Nigeria's parliament. Nigeria has no female state governors and are still being stalled on their demands for 35% affirmative action. We tried to find out what the chairperson of Nigeria's Women Ambassadors makes of the situation and what she expects from the next administration. Affirmative action is like 33, 35 percent. The Nigerian government that's going to take over should be looking at 40 percent of women in governance because the women are very em em empathic people. Politics or not, Nigerian women have defied the odds in many areas to excel in their various fields of endeavor. Amina Mohammed is the first Nigerian woman to rise to the post of Deputy United Nations Secretary General. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is the first Nigerian to be Director General of the World Trade Organization. The literary works and activism of Chimamanda Adichie have earned her worldwide recognition, inspiring young women around the world and earning her a MacArthur Genius Grant, as well as the Penn Printer Prize. Women in Nigeria have in recent years chosen to take the bull by the horns, turning their lives around in a harsh economic climate and providing employment in their communities. For this female inventor and green architect, the road has been rough and there's so much more the government can do to make things easier for women in business. Provide grants, loans that are interest-free and easily accessible and also other incentives for women in this industry then they should also provide awareness to people on waste management and also they should be able to they should be able to provide laws that will be favorable to women in this in this industry every woman anywhere in the world is built with some ability to forge on when things are toughest the Nigerian woman in particular has had to deal with daunting challenges in this harsh economic climate, especially in the digital space. The Nigerian woman has had to deal with cultural, societal, religious and financial constraints. So what does the Nigerian woman ask of the government this International Women's Day? Two things. One, the political will to ensure that she makes it in this world. And finally, the enabling environment to do so. Kayla Magua. Channels Television News.